fair use disclaimer. The copyright laws of the United States recognizes a fair use of copyright content. Section 107 of the United States Copyright Act states, notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies or phone records or by any other means specified by that section for purposes such as criticism, comments, news, reporting, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarships, or research is not an infringement of copyright. This video and YouTube channel in general may contain copyrighted works that were not specifically authorized to be used by the copyright holders, but which we believe in good faith are protected by federal law and the fair use doctrine for one or more of the reasons noted above. This female, she's a, a social media influencer. She goes by the name of Angelic Soul. She's on this um, app called Bego, where she kind of talks to other mothers and get perspectives of other people, opinions on how to help her raise her seven children. She has seven kids and she's 28 years old with seven kids. Okay. So um, out of her seven, there's a set of twins. Her last uh, babies are twins. So she has three she has one daughter who has her own father. Three kids have the same dad, and the last three has the same dad. Now, she's not with the dad of the younger three. She got back with the middle three dad. His name is Patrick. So she goes on live, and she talks to other mothers on this app called Bego, where she just wants to get advice. She gives advice and she gets advice. So this particular live, while she's live, her boyfriend, who's not the daddy of her 12-year-old daughter, well, I'm going to just let y'all hear. I just got out the shower, okay? Always shit fucked up in here. What did you just leave out? What did you just leave out? Why did you just leave out? Yeah, allow her to sit in here. Or leave her in here all night. All night. She's sitting here all night. She's on the phone and shit. She don't give shit. For real, just Girl, shut your ass up! Nobody wanna fucking hear that shit. Be what? Cause you the one that was Your audience has all of it. It doesn't fucking matter. You don't dictate. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Ain't nobody killing you. Shut the fuck up, little girl. Why not this mother? I cannot so stand to hear babies cry, man. It's me to fuck off. Now, while she was live, her boyfriend, y'all heard me correct, her boyfriend started mm. beating her daughter with the belt. Mm. I cannot. And he calls the daughter a B while he's whooping her. And she don't address him whooping her daughter, but he you hear her yell, don't call her no B. Now you don't have to call her that. So I'm gonna let y'all finish listening, and then we're gonna. No, Baloo's. He's beating the he's child. Beating the child with the. This belt. is pissing me, man. While, listen while here, she's man. she's on live, doing her live, her, her there's no way on her live. They just happen to hear in the background in another no room. No motherfucking her way. Boyfriend is beating her daughter. I gotta hit mute with the belt, and. She's gonna explain why it all came, why the boyfriend did that while she's blacking out on her live. And they all gonna talk about how they're gonna call CPS, and they do just to give y'all a heads up. But that's gonna be in my next video because I wanted to just give y'all this real quick. But they do call CPS, CPS do come to the house and they sit and talk with her and the daughter. 
They don't take the kids that day, but the ending result is she does get all seven of her children taken because of this incident, but they don't take them this night. Fucking locked in my round. And she goes Shut to jail. Up. She got locked up. And I don't want to hear nothing but you by her daughter. I say, all you gone here, every last one of you motherfuckers. So at the end of my day, you're the same. That was still up here talking about some. We shouldn't let her disrespect her. So shut the fuck. Now, and I'm not talking to my village. I'm talking to the mother on here. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Be quiet. You're not gonna fuck do whatever you want, Samaya. Be quiet, Samaya. Guess what? If they take your way away, I'm not coming back to forget you. And I mean that. You're not going over your grandparents. How you gonna go to the mall? You better shut them up. Cause ain't nobody hurting you, but you did that to yourself. Be quiet. Nobody want to hear that dumb shit? <laughs> ain't nothing fucking wrong with you. You got your ass because you were being disrespectful. <laughs> I don't care, you. It doesn't matter. If he told us to go in the room and, and let him watch TV, who the fuck you to tell somebody that they're not going to come in here? And you kept saying it. You kept saying it. You kept saying it. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you did that shit to your mother. <laughs> you thought I was about to take up, up for you when you're being disrespectful? <laughs> I wasn't doing that. Y'all said, uh, you said, okay, get her away from drama. Get her away from them. Don't do that. Don't do this. But now, but now, they come home to the problem. They always mess it with me. But now, you didn't do that. No. So now, you first of all. <laughs> All he told him to do, all them told him to do. But I'm not gonna yell over your crying. You can shut the fuck and I'll come back in here and address you when I want to. But I'm not about to fucking yell over you. I'm really not. <laughs> Can we skip past her crying a little bit? She left the room. I can't stand her. Shut up. Very triggering. <laughs> Fucking you don't want your ass well, you should shut the fuck up. Stop being disrespectful. I'm on the run for what? What else say? We're gonna talk about it when I get off live. I mean, you online on whooping they online so far. You're not whooping they ass online. I'm in another room. And that's number one. Number two, fuck these down here because it's not illegal to whoop they. You was not just whooping her with no belt online. It is not illegal. She was being disrespectful. No, Breeze, this is not this child's she father. Do, she want to do whatever the, she want to do. Nobody want to do that. Not her dumb, father at all. You want to put me in the middle of the middle of the shit. Don't put me in the middle of that shit. She an ignorant broad. I don't fuck about GPS and none of that. I would whoop their ass in front of you. Yeah, that's how I would. Wow, somebody need to whoop your ass and hers too. Oh, and you talking crazy? Motherfucker think you sold her iPhone, that bitch really be sold. Don't you know about to sell her phone? You don't even care about that kid. She letting him whoop him. Y'all messed up her room, I'm gonna beat the out of y'all. Okay, y'all like y'all kids ain't never got their ass. Well, y'all can shut the fuck up in the comments, honestly. Shut the fuck up. 
Y'all the same. Let me talk about something I should whoop their ass. So shut the fuck up. Nobody want to hear that y'all talking about. Shut up. He not drunk, you dumbass. You need to get the fuck out of here. You can keep on sending these things across the stream. You can get the fuck out of here. It's not funny. Crackhead ass, just get the fuck out. Nah. Left, left your ass out. Left your ass out the door. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. So what? They all got their ass whooped. So? Call them. Now we're going to leave right out the motherfucking door, bitch. Like they always do none of that shit. And now we're going to be right out. So they're going to say, Angelic So, okay, what's your number? Da, 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 and lead up out. Like they always do. You ain't scary. You really not. They deserve discipline. Bitch, it's not illegal for my kids to get that whoop. And we not whoop when they on live. There ain't nobody beating her. What happened was I was taking a mother a shower and somebody was in there with the baby and, and, and Patrick told him sent all the kids in her room to go watch a movie and Samaya like you're not about to send them kids up in here he was like yes she was he was like yes I am they're about to come in here and watch the movie and she was like no the, she didn't cuss she was like no you're not and he was like yes I am and she was like no you're not I don't want them in my room and he was like yes you are yes I is y'all come in here and sit down and he like she like I bet they're not gonna stay in here mama and I ain't say she And she kept they going back and forth for five minutes about no you not yes they is no you not yes they is. So she tried he tried to take her phone. Then the little girl starts screaming and hollering like, "Give me my phone!" Like you know, so she went on oh, explaining. Yeah, she went on explaining to the live right. I agree. Somebody said. um she shouldn't he shouldn't have been whooping on her whether he was her father or not he still should have been spanking her i have a daughter my husband her father never ever ever spanked her ever because the one thing you don't want to teach your daughter is that it's okay for a man to be putting their hands on you so he never he never ever Hit, hit, hit our daughter or spanked her no no anything what i do when he had to discipline her he would come to me you better get her you better get her you know because she's a girl and he's a man you know what i'm saying so he never want her to grow up thinking that it's okay for a man to be beating on you know hitting on a female you, now how old you, was the child her daughter is 12. now mm -hmm. when they do call cps and cps comes to the house i'm gonna drop those those lives the cp she did ask the cps worker why why um she said you're telling me that i can't spank um i can't whoop her with a belt but the last diapers worker cps worker told me that i can and i got that on record because she recorded the, the worker saying that to her while she was on live. She said, well, um, I, the, the worker, the CPS worker at that time told her, well, that worker misinformed you. When you take an object to a child that is called corporate punishment, you cannot take an object and beat your child with an object. She said, so what am I supposed to do? Just put her in timeout? For how long? She said, however, whatever the age of the child is, that's what you're supposed to do. So she said, so my six-year-old, because she got a six-year-old too. She said, so my six-year-old, he would go in the corner for six minutes. The worker said, yes. She said, oh, hell no. What is six minutes? Wait till y'all watch that live. Because the worker stayed there explaining everything to us. So the worker- That girl's even, stupid. Look, the police comes, right? They shows the worker this live because the people who called in sent the live to the police. The police didn't arrest her, but they did come to the house and talk to her, and the police sent the CPS there, and they showed CPS the, the information, the, the video. The CPS worker comes back in the house after seeing the video. She says to her, you know what I think you should do? This is where I was upset with the worker. 
She said, I just feel like you should just stop um, being on your live in your house and allowing people to see what's going on in your house. If you're going to go live, go live in your car, go someplace private. Don't let them so much into your business. She goes on to tell the, the, the worker, this is my job. This is my business. I work for Bego. I come on live. I work with other mothers and we just discuss topics on how to raise our kids because she's a girl mother please. with 28 with seven kids. Is she supposed to be an example or something? Right. She go on there with other mothers yeah, on girl. raising uh -huh. kids and uh -huh. she got uh -huh. some nigga that she not going to be with next week. You right. know I'm mad to use the N word. I cannot. I know. Yes. Listen, That's what I this is why, on man, because man, he, it is he's triggering. Not even, he's That's not why I don't father. cover kids' cases a lot. It, it messes with me. Look, he's not the daughter father or the younger kid's father. He's the middle kid's father. He just there for a minute. He ain't going to yeah, be there it, next week. It, but you it, letting this man, man, oh, my it, God, I want to beat see, her up. I had to keep, I had to, I tried my best to bleep all of her curses out. But she cursed so much like a sailor. It was hard for me to, to get them all out. But, yeah, she went off on that live. But if you listen to it, while he was whooping her daughter, he screamed. He calls her daughter a B. And she addresses that right there. She was like, don't let call me her see no your B. face, Edward Joseph, first. She was like, don't you I call get... her no B. Don't call her no B now. And I'm bugging while I'm watching this. And I'm now, going, come on, man. So you don't care about him whooping her ass like that, but he could, but he, but just don't call her a bitch. Are you serious? Yeah, you so he bitch. he actually act like that was one of his. Well, first of all, calling her out her name. What was he the pimp and she was the right? What what, what we got going hear, on well, here? You can hear all the hits. Like I had to bleep it because you know I tried to make it a little. YouTube. Man, it's like he was slamming yes. her up against the girl, wall or something. That is out, that was out of line. He hit her at out least line. twelve times with that belt. He whooped her. He Edward whooped Joseph, her. if you can hear me, just let me see your face right quick so I know it's you. I was livid. I was livid watching that. No, Breeze. It, it's it's not. No, I'm telling you, I got so many of her lives. I, I, we I show said don't, I, Tracy. I said no I was gonna drop them so that y'all can see. Cause she ends up going to jail. She don't go to jail the night CPS come. She go to jail the next night. She goes to jail. They didn't lock up the boyfriend, but they locked her up. He got locked up for beating her ass two weeks later. The live call. Who the, the mother? He beat up the mother. Yeah, yeah, he beat up the mother, and the and the live called the police, and the police came and locked him up right there. She let she Wait. let it all play out on her live too, and she was. Wait a minute, was this before? The, this was after the kids. After the ass whooping, yes, yes. After you see what I'm saying? He comes so in there see drunk. what I'm saying though. Yeah, he Man. came in there drunk, calling her all kind of bees and trying to fight her. The live got scared and nervous for her, and they was like, "Do you want us to call the police?" She said, "Yeah, call them." Like, wink, wink, like, hurry up, help me. I need help. And the police came. She talked to the police, and then they ended up locking him up right there in her house. She okay, said, say she, something so I know it's you, Edward Joseph. Mike, check. Uh, this, this is me. Okay. Okay. What did you want right. to say? <laughs> uh, uh, give, give me one minute. Give me one minute, and then I'm going to get with you guys. I got to yeah. deliver this real quick. But yeah. Okay. With you. So yeah, he ends up going to jail, and but he's back though. He's back because now um CPS took her kids. The one of the twins, the baby, got his arm broke while at his father's with his father girlfriend, and she's on live crying about the baby, the twin. One of the twins' arm um, um got broke and playing at the park or something, and she on the live crying and carrying on. One and of her twins' baby. arms got broke yeah, because she's an irresponsible no, no, mother. No. That's why. Because CPS, she blamed it on CPS. She said, they took my kids out of my house talking about they was being abused, but they put them in a house where they are being abused. She said, oh, it happened yeah. at the house? The yeah. CPS house? The CPS. Come on, man. No, listen. The CPS, they took her kids, right? So the three Who that she suffers? got, the three that she oh. got um, younger, that they're with their father now, right? And he got a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So she get a call that the twin, one of the babies, the twins is nine months old. Wow. Broke his arm at the park. And she's on her live now crying, talking about CPS took my kids, talking about um, I, I put you. them in, in harm's way, but they put them in a in a house where they um 
So they put him with the father and his girlfriend, and yes. the, who's and they was in their care, and the arm got and broke. The, yes, and the baby. come on, man, yeah. the baby is in a storm. Two idiot parents sound like I don't know. I'm just I'm triggered. I'm mad, really. <laughs> That's why. I mean, I am just off balance right now. All that crying, that kids crying, that bothers oh, no. me. I'm about to. You about to really be messed up because I have a lot where she's sitting down talking to the daughter with the other son because the daughter is now talking about taking her own life saying she don't want to what no that's more. that's the video you doing no, i already have them i said i'm just gonna you know i, I just wanted to kind of give y'all a gist of who she is so now when i start dropping those lives y'all be yeah. familiar with her because yeah the live that she did sitting down calling herself counseling her daughter the, the that 12 year old because the daughter saying she don't want to live no more yeah, I probably won't watch it. I, it it's very triggering. Like she's an idiot. Them so kids. I, I mean, down. the kids ain't she no sit, safer in. Uh, and yeah, what's the name? She CPS. Sit down with the daughter, him, Patrick, and the daughter. They all sit down on a live, and she asks the daughter why she don't like Patrick. What's her anger with him? Why does she disrespect him? The daughter says she don't oh like him. God. Yeah, she's having like a counseling session with her daughter, yeah. asking the daughter, why, girl, I don't like him because he just whooped my ass. Like, what, what do you mean? Why are you asking her? I mean, first like of all, this? you know why? Listen, this mother got seven kids. I know why she don't like him because he probably the seventh nigga that's been, man, I got it. Oh, he's probably the seventh guy that she brought through there. And who's to say if any of these dudes is touching her or anything like that? We don't know that because yes. his mother is too Her busy popping very, babies yeah. out with yeah. every dude she meet. Yeah. And she's very irresponsible. There is clear. She yeah. probably have other guy. The other guys, what the nine month old baby daddy, why he leave? Was he beating her, uh, beating her too? So is this child watching kids. her mother being disrespected? She like, got, I mean, the mother is the problem. Kids, seven kids. And That's three, who the damn problem is. Three fathers, the daughter, the twelve, the daughter, the twelve-year-old. She's the only one with her own father. That's why you see, she said to her, "If you keep screaming like that, and and they come and take you, you're not going to your grandmother's house this time. I'm gonna let them put you in a fucking home." That's what she said. So you daughter. telling me that her kids is by the her, the other kids is by the same person? No, she got seven kids but three fathers. The daughter, the oh, okay. twelve-year-old has her own father. Then the middle three. That's their dad, Patrick. And then the young. That's three, a lot of men to be in yeah. and out of there and too, then, in, in her lifetime. Three. The three? younger three. Oh, the God younger damn, three kids, it was more than that. They got their own father. Well, they got the you know they share the same dad. Them just the ones that caught the nut. You know what I'm saying? How many other dudes was she bringing through there? I'm telling you, this is why the girl acts that way. She probably tired of seeing all them different men running up out of her, out of their house and her mama bedroom and whooping her and all that no. kind of stuff, man. But she said that. The daughter says that. She says she don't like him because of the way he treated the mother and the fact that he beat her. Yeah, so now what is she showing her? It's okay for you to yep. get a man that's going to do the same yep. thing to you. And where's her daddy at? I don't oh my know. god now that and all the lot i got about 12 15 lives of her i have not yeah talked to, she has not mentioned the daughter father yeah because okay. he ain't around he probably in jail or deceased go ahead joseph Edward. all right well i understand that this may be a triggering a, a triggering type of effect for all of the ladies and stuff to hear the kids screaming or hollering and things of that nature but it's a twofold thing you have to look at one, you can't really blame the child because of the circumstances that the child is under. You know, the mother has seven kids. I don't know what line of she's in with all of the siblings that she has and things and so on and so forth. The mother is not paying attention to her. She doesn't have an intact father that teaches her or, you know, to show her the ways of how to be and things and stuff. The mother simply is not showing any type of interest in trying to raise her daughter up right and whatnot so I, I get it but then on the same token you know the child is being disrespectful in things and you know um acting out in a manner to what he shouldn't even be and whatnot and even with that I, I i get it but i don't like a disrespectful child i i i just don't 
I don't tolerate disrespectful children. And I hear what you're saying, sister girl. Um, you know, your husband wouldn't want to discipline your child because he's a man and things and stuff. I get that totally because with me, you know, I, I have three kids and my baby's mom, I've told her if a nigga ever places his hands on my children, then, you know, it, it, it's game on. It, it's game on, hmm. you know, because again, exactly. I'm the father. I, you know, raise my children the way that I raise my children and stuff. I'm always in their lives. I do everything that I do for them and whatnot. But you're not going to bring no one over them to do anything. You know, uh, if, if he's being or she's being, um, you know, to the degree to where they're totally disrespectful and stuff, well, then I blame myself and I blame you. But mm -hmm. I never will allow nobody else to go and touch that child at all. They will have to give me a case in a major way. But Man. at some point in time, that child needs to be disciplined to some degree. Now, to get, it's, yeah, it's she should have been by her mother. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you know, I, I agree. It, it, it's, it's a difference between disciplining a person and beating a person. Now, see, I blame the mama totally for allowing this man to just go whack the cracker on that girl. He should have never Absolutely. Did. Ain't nobody fought but hers. Yeah. But then on the same token, you know, a, a little stuff right here and there and stuff. Okay, I, I can get that because that child should have never stepped out of bounds to the degree that she did. You know, so it's, you know, it, I mean, it's it's one of those. That but you look at who's raising her. Look at who's raising her. You see how her mother was acting on live? That's I'm where here, she get it I'm from. Here, she don't I'm have no home training. I'm on the phone call really quick, but I'm and, 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 okay. You know, and that's what I said, and, and that's why I dressed the mom. I, I get it totally. I get it totally. Mm -hmm. You know, the mom is 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 just totally whack and things. She shouldn't have never had all of these kids in the first place. Period. She's a hot mama. Man. Yeah. I she's guess a hot her mama. and her lashes. Yeah. Man, listen, that was a lot, boy. That had me going. But I'm glad that's over because that that is one of my uh I, I it's really hard for me to cover kid cases even though I started with kid cases um but I don't do them often especially with that it just depends on what it is that was rough well, but but see this and I'm glad they case. was taken away but I'm I feel bad too because I know what CPS is about also well I mean you know the system is what it is and stuff you know I mean you can't blame the system for all it is I mean we, it, it's it's enough blame to go around to everybody. The system is not perfect. The people is not perfect. Everybody has enough land to go around and things and stuff. But see, I am so The happy. system is legal kidnapping. <laughs> to well, be I mean, well, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Okay, so then my thing is this, and, and this is my point, and I'm so happy that you guys are covering this and stuff because this is a teachable moment for all of these young people who, who, you know, is growing up and they want to have some kids and things or, you know, whatever the case may be and things. This is a very good teachable moment because it teaches you what to do and what not to do. You know, covering topics like this, yeah, it may be hard. Yes, it's hard to listen. Yeah, to they are hard. Man. And things of that nature. Yeah. But it's a teachable moment. And that's the it definitely that you, is. It is. If they are listen, you know, the people that need to see it ain't even the ones that are watching. <laughs> you know, most times maybe they'll stumble across it, but that was just horrible. And her whole attitude, like she was dumb to the whole fact that you cannot hit your kids with stuff. You're not oh, supposed yes, to do that. Oh, the, yes, police, the police, the yes, police can, can take you out. No, they took that power away from parents a long time ago. Oh, you do that in public, you will get arrested, sir. I, I that is I, not I, legal. Listen, I literally beat my child down for being this in public. In public, really, in public. and in front yes. of a cop. In front of the police, and you know what I told him? I said, "Put these handcuffs on me now," because I said, "I'll be, I, I'll be down." If you I'm might re, huh? You might meet a cool cop because I've heard that before. The cop have turned around like, yeah, like, yeah, I, I understand because I would have did the same thing. 
you know, it just depends. But you really can't. But they can take your kid out, though. Look how many been uh, uh, shot down like dogs. So, but, but, but they, see, yeah, you, but they you, took you that gotta, power you away. You got to know the law and you got to know the system. You you got to know how to navigate that things. I just wouldn't do it in public for sure. You know, because kids got a little power. They start they start calling the police on their parents. When they start, when they changed it up like that, I remember that phase when a bunch of kids was calling the cops on their parents. But yeah, so y'all too, sister girl, I'm about ready to end this. Let me see. Both of them then went on mute. Look, I was moving no, around I'm getting dressed. I'm sorry, I'm here. It's uh, that was my grandson's school. Um, okay. I picked him up at his after school. I didn't know he was going. Okay. He's 12. He'd be trying to do his own thing. But um, I got that situation. Let's close this thing right, out. Right. I, I missed what um Edward was saying because I was on the phone with his school. But um, I'm sorry, Miss V, if I triggered you with that video. It's just I really wanted to get your take and others' take on that because it was mind boggling to me to see this woman on live saying these things about her own daughter. When, when you see the other lives, you'll get more of a, a understanding of why I'm talking about her, you know, and I'm glad uh -huh. she, I'm glad she went to jail. I'm glad they eventually showed her that no, you can't do this to your kid and, um, and get away with it. But I wanted to make a point when the, CPS, I'm dropping this for you, Brees. When the CPS worker came out to the house, Mm -hmm. the, the, they did talk to the 12 year old they asked her if she felt safe if she wanted you know if she was safe if um she wanted to stay the daughter said yes she felt safe and she didn't want to leave her mother i just wanted okay. to point that out well see that shows that shows that that the child has so much love and respect for her mom even though her mom What I happened think, to the sound? I don't know. Oh, it, it, it's not. It's not us. I think that's I thought it was a okay. But um, yeah, and there's other lies with the daughter being like extremely disrespectful to the mother when she's asking her to clean her room. But again, mm -hmm. as you watch the lives, you'll see why the daughter behaves that way. The mother puts a lot of responsibility on that twelve-year-old. Cause you'll hear her when she talks to her about when the daughter says that she didn't want to live anymore. The mother's talking mm -hmm. to her about, you know, you helped me out a lot. When I was in the hospital for a month, you made sure your, your brothers and sisters went to school every day. You made sure they ate breakfast. You made sure that they got picked up every day. Like she put a lot of responsibility on that 12 year old. Mm -hmm. What's up Breeze? Hey Breeze. Let me mute and let Breeze have the floor. No, no, no. <laughs> you got us playing in the background, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's I good? hear her talking. What's no, going on? Yeah, I was just like I was saying, you know, uh, I'm just feeling something with a weirdness with uh, Edward Joseph and some of the things he was saying. I'm listening. I'm like, bro. That ain't really how it go there. I mean, really, you don't, you shouldn't naturally have to do anything to your kids. After a certain point of time when you, you know, you might have to spank your kids when they like two or three. After two or three, you should never have to even re reiterate that form of corporal punishment to your children ever again, because everything you should be doing should be action based and everything they watching they should be seeing you and seeing exactly what you're doing and what you mean and you mean and you being about what you say. Yeah, so you saying basically you don't agree with the whooping in public. No, you don't need to do that. Yeah, I would never do that. In, I, I don't even like whooping. I mean, I have, you know, when my kids were younger. But your children, If you deal with your children early in their age, when they like three and four, your children see like, oh shit, he not playing. They not right going, about that. 
when you when you at 10, 12, you like, wait, I think you you think back to the youngest age, you remember that something corporal to you. And you remember that. You didn't ever do nothing after that. It's always I always think about it. When my dad, we never um had to do anything around my dad. My dad, we you know, my dad when he when he gave you a whooping, it was like, okay, you bend over this, you get five lashes. That mm-hmm. Not a beating, throwing up against the wall and all that crap. Right. Wow, shit. My mama yeah. would, if we did something bad and my dad wasn't home, like say my dad was out driving the truck. My dad used to work for yellow, yellow paper. So you be out driving those damn trucks. That's it. So my mama, so something happened and my dad may not, he may not get back for another week. You know? So my mama decided on her own, look, Y'all did this, that, and the third. She gonna play like, okay, it's cool. Oh, y'all go up there and catch a um. Y'all, y'all get in the bath. All of y'all, take a bath. So your mother was the disciplinary. No, she would try to be it, but she was like the. She was more like a warrior. My dad was actual disciplinary, and when he was home with the truck, you know, nothing ever went on when he was home. But when my when my dad wasn't, my mama would do shit like, oh, oh y'all go get baths or, or she would set up some shit where we got to sit outside where we all get wet, right? Mm-hmm. Get wet. And then you come in the house and then she's standing there waiting for you with an extension cord. Oh. Yeah, see that's that's some diabolical shit. Yeah, I don't know a lot of people ah. know that shit. I'm like, that's some shit that come from the plantation. Wow, yeah, that's a lot. That's you to be a bit wet. much. You like what? Wet with an electrical cord, man. That's crazy. It, what if you get okay. electrocuted? So yeah. help me to make this make sense then. I mean, you know, all too often you all put yourselves and inject yourselves into other people's business and affairs. Whatever happens to you and whatever discipline that your mom or dad did for you, it doesn't work for me. I'm the dad, he has a mother. And so however I see fit in disciplining my child, that's just the way that it is. Whether you agree, whether you disagree. Yeah, in your um, in your world, you may seem like that's in your mind, but the same vision as your child eventually is going to remember the same shit that you're talking about, corporal punishment. So your child is eventually going, if they don't, if they don't push back on it, like those of us who went to the military and we went and we learned how to overcome, adapt, and achieve, we, we came back and we realized, like, okay, we don't do that same type of shit. Mm-hmm. But we still we still run through the realm of knowing that, okay, you need to do A, B, C, D, and E. So we, we run through that same realm. We understand that what our parents was hoping, but our parents weren't good um they didn't know how to. Yeah, they did the best they could at the time with what the knowledge that they knew at that time. So uh, yeah, because I don't yeah, discipline they, my kids the way I was disciplined growing exactly, up. But I can tell right? you one thing: my son, thirty-three, and I could just still give him that look, and he knows yeah, shut there up. You go, oh. but you may have to do nothing. You just give him a look. <laughs> yep, like boy, don't play with me. Yeah, that's how I grew up. <laughs> with, with basically, we had the whoopings, but after that, the whoopings came just to look. Later on, it was like, you know, it was the look. But in the beginning, yeah. I'm just giving you a rundown on what it was in the beginning, which was yeah. crazy. Right. You know, she was trying to establish what my dad had established without having to do corporal punishment, is what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. And it was, it was almost at a point of like a Napoleonic shit where she might have got the guillotine. But we didn't guillotine her. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how I'm just trying to say we got to be honest about certain shit. Like I was talking about, you know, certain people is like the whole thing about where we with the whole situation with the hip hop thing right now. That's what we're talking about. And all Mm -hmm. that. I said, well, everything we have to also all be honest about where everything comes from. Oh, man, come on. I'm I'm, I'm going to just say. Breeze, the, the hip hop ain't like it used to be now. I don't know what they be talking about. Yeah, you already know that. <laughs> but I always tell people look at the beginning of what people was doing before what you considered what you saw on the mainstream. 
let's look at that parameter. And then we start to understand where people were coming from. So mm. Even when I was looking at that situation, like with my mom, I'm like, she's thinking from the old ages. Her mama, my great grandmother. I'm trying to end, young Rias. It's too late in the game. Oh, you ready this for is, yeah. young Rias? Oh, no, he know, was trying to come up, but I'm about to end. This oh, is. Oh, to get out of here. Yeah. We, well, look, this is been good. We're we going to get out of here. I'm not yeah. Gonna... I'm sorry about that. I, me and, um, no, you good. I was letting y'all get y'all peace. I was just telling Young Riz I didn't want nobody else to oh, come up because yeah, I'm trying yeah. to end. Right. So, okay, is he finished? No disrespect to Brother um, Edward um, Joseph. If that's how you want to carry on, no, yo, no problem with No, that. yeah, all opinions are welcome. We welcome. Yeah. We welcome no, no, see, opinion. see, see, all, all, all I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. All too often when we get into heated subjects and topics such as this mm -hmm. everybody wants to invoke their own personal views and how i'm not going to do x y and z okay so whatever works in your household it was works for you but whatever works for me it works for me mm -hmm. i've i've been a father i'm a father of three my children have never disrespected anybody because that's how i was raised I was raised in an intact family. I, my mother and father was married until, you know, death due to part and things. Well, that didn't happen in my situation and whatnot and stuff. But yet those teachings that was instilled in my mother and father, that my grandmother and grandfather instilled with me, I instilled in my children and things. And I'm big up on respect, as many of you see, if you ever watch my channel. I don't like disrespectful people. I've always give you the utmost respect. I've always greet you with blessings and things and stuff. But then when you come in a disrespectful manner, well, then you're going to get it and you're going to get it hard and heavy. And, and that's just how it always been. Now, it's just all in the terminology in the words that you use. Now, see, it's a difference between whoopings and beatings. I never had to beat my children. Right. I never had to beat them. I whooped them, but I never had to beat them. And then when I whooped, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. You're gonna have to elaborate yeah. on that. <laughs> wait, yeah. what's now, now, the difference it, between a whooping and a beating? Well, okay, it's so, all so, the same to me. Well, no, hey, no, sister see, girl, oh, sister girl, hold it down. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Because I mean, so, so, whooping and beating is the same to me. Well, well, I mean, right, right. Because it's it's all in an environment that you was raised in. Now, see me when I call what what I call a whooping is just you know getting a couple of slaps up inside the head and then that's it, you know, oh. and then letting them know, sitting down and letting them know and explaining them why I am doing such and so. Oh, so you spank? But, so it's a spanking. Well, I don't, I don't know what a spanking is. All I know well, is that's what you just described. Rhea, okay. you can hit the link. <laughs> you just well, described then, a little spanking. Well, well, see, that's that's what I'm saying. I've I've never been raised in an adverse environment and things, and so I don't know what what spankings and all of this stuff is. I just know that when you be disrespectful to me, you're gonna get slapped across the face, and then I'm gonna explain to you why I did such. Oh, that's a I'll say this much right here. Those <laughs> of us who ever was spanked, whooped, beat, right. whatever, we didn't care to be murderers, psycho killers, right. um, continually going in and out of jail habitually. Riz, hit the link we if you wanna come up right quick. Worked and lived, and we do the same thing, and today we try to figure out how not to do what happened to us. That's mm -hmm. the same thing. That's all yep. we think of. That, yep, that, I agree. That's to be honest about reality. Is yep. those of us who did, I don't think whoopings was bad. Me either. Me either. So nobody, I went Shoot. to college. I, I thought it was normal when I was Look, a kid. I mean, I didn't something. get beaten. You know what changed it? You know what changed the game? The damn schools and these teachers telling the kids the laws, call 911 on your mother. The laws and your changed. Father, they spanked really? you. That's kind of real. You you not lying, sister girl. When you can no longer discipline your children. Yeah, when they start hey, telling us that we can't people. beat our kids. Black people. Look, you made a point when you said we wasn't going to jail Remember, doing you all didn't that. Have Look at these kids, kids now. Kids okay, time. hold on. Sister girl, I'll be back. I was okay. waiting on Riz, look, but he ain't hit look, the link, so I'll be back, y'all. Look at these wait, kids wait, now. They sitting link? around. She said, Riaz, um, young oh, Riaz, yeah. you can come up. Um, Miss V dropped the link for you. 
Yo. You see these kids now, they disrespect their parents. They talk to them crazy. Don't respect the, they don't respect Yo, their elders. But, but no. why? Why? Why Why do they disrespect Because them? they took That's... the discipline out of the household. We should nah, be able you to can't, discipline nah, our nah, kids. You can't. No, that's 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 BS. You cannot blame the system for what I you do so. at home. You I can't blame so. the system for what you're supposed to be doing at home. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. When you are black people, you definitely can blame the system for that. <laughs> right. so, Thank right you. Away, black, just being black, and we if our children call the police, the mom and dad is going to jail. Going right? to jail, exactly. There's that no part. way around that. But yeah. but 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 see that's what I'm saying though. Who is teaching these kids to call the police and things the, the, of that nature? The teachers, the schools, they teach them that in school. They, yeah, they teach them at school. That, in that, pre-K, in Head Start, they teaching them at three and four year olds to call nine one one on your parent if your parent mm -hmm. hits you. Yeah, but but where 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 is that being taught at? Because twenty five years in the school system, I know they teach them that in the school system. The school system. Oh, one at thirteen. And, and, and again, I ask, where is that being taught at? Because we're not having that problem over here. God, that was not not talking. not where I live. When we was growing up, our parents can come. My mother used to can come in my classroom and drag me out if she felt the need to. You can't even walk into school these days. You got to make an appointment yeah. for everything. Oh, you, yo, you just said so. You know what I'm saying? They got you. Got to make an appointment. You got to sit down. Come up with yep. motherfucking rollers on. Yeah. <laughs> I got there. Well, right up to Simpson, your classroom and drag a you Bart out. Simpson sleeper and take you out the class. <laughs> yep, and take you the out the classroom. And the teacher don't say a word. You do nah. that now, they call it CPS. Now, see, 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 no, nah, no, nah, because, nah. see, that's just blanket statements and things. You can't talk to your kid like that. that. You this can't like talk to him like that. You can't talk to her like that. Mom, what are you doing? You can't speak that way to the child. No, nah, no, nah, yes, I, 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 I totally, I totally disagree. I totally disagree. I work in the school not, system for over 25 years. I'm telling you, I've seen it a thousand times over. You, you may have seen it over in your area in your general vicinity but that's not everywhere that is just a blanket statement that everybody I tends to use schools and that's what they teach the kids I, I hey i my, <laughs> i'm serious but 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 I, there but there again there again you're only in one certain region right. you're in one state you're not all over the world and things so right. you can't mm -hmm. use that blanket statement all everywhere because wow. again it's not happening I'm not over just here. I'm talking about my state. My kids live in other different states. They have the same issues in the school. Yeah, like, you a, can't do it. You just can't do it. <laughs> you can't. The school be the tell, first don't, people don't, to call don't the CPS tell me on what you. Can't, if your kids don't, come to school and say, my mom slapped me, the teacher, the first, the, the school is the first people to call CPS. Mel, Mel, my son, my son is 10 years old mm -hmm. and he's built solid. Mm -hmm. he, he he is solid for his age. One of the young boys was over there, you know, um, talking about he's fat and things like that. So my son just hawked off and just hit him. Mm -hmm. he, he, he's a very timid, timid, very respectful, very, you know, just easy going type of person. But he let his temper get the best of him. I got a temper. His mom got a temper. And so, you know, he has a raging thing that has been dormant for quite some time, but the boy provoked him into wrath. And when he did that, my son just hawked up and hit him. And so the, the people, you know, they called me and his mom up to the school and stuff. Well, you know, your son is brutalizing these people and things. You know what I told the instructor? I said that I will tell my son to hit his ass again if he ever comes and disrespect him in any type of manner. I said, where you all fell, this is what I told the principal and this is what I told the teacher. I said, where you all fell was, you all failed to identify the underlining situation. That little sucker of a kid should have kept his mouth closed. He shouldn't have been teasing my son. He shouldn't have been provoking my son into wrath. And he got exactly what he got. Now, can I just say this? Now, look, yes. now you hear what you mm -hmm. just said, right? Mm -hmm. Now, so 
now I'm now I just told you, I just explained, like, you know, I've been working in the school system for over 25 years, right? So now you a parent, if you said that to me at the school, you know what? I'm gonna think you're not allowing your son to take responsibility and accountability for his actions. So you're excusing because at the end of the day, I know he's 10, but he's responsible for his actions. Ooh. Right? Right. So you're saying that it was okay for your son to attack another kid only because he didn't like what they said? Well, well see, see uh, uh, again, it's just mm -hmm. the, the boy, this has been an ongoing thing. This hasn't mm -hmm. been just, uh, okay, well, he said this, he said that, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. This has been consistently going for a while. My son had taken the necessary steps to mitigate this situation from escalating. Mm -hmm. And so since they chose to ignore it, well, then my son took all, you know, he, I, I gave him the responsibility to go and beat his ass. So and beat his no ass consequences at home? Huh? There was no consequences at home? There was consequences. The oh. consequences was tame your temper. Yes. That's what I wanted to hear you say. That's what I was waiting for, because right. at the end of the day, you want to make sure that he understand that that was not OK to do. No, he, he and that's and, and then again, that's what I explained in the beginning. I said my son is an humble person. He doesn't go around teasing people and doing right. this and that and the other. Mm -hmm. But when you are provoked and consistently provoked, what I are you going to do? I put a word right there, provoke. Again, that's what I said. Talking, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Again, um, we have to take accountability, though. Like sometimes you can walk away. You have you have options where you can walk away. You could go talk to a teacher. You could speak to someone. Another what? Adult, okay, so so, ma'am, ma'am, what what is it? What is it that you did not hear? Because I, that's what I said. No, I, no, no. My son, no, she, I heard. She's just going through what the parameters of the yeah, whole. Like the pro, you know, like. Yeah, she's going through the approaches. Yeah. Right, right, and, and and again, I did all of that. He he had went and he had talked to the teacher oh, on yeah. several occasions and things. He did everything that I taught him to do to mitigate that circumstance to keep him from having that temper come out. Right. So once his back was up against the wall, he just reacted because he was- He reacted. Oak smash. He was like, Oak smash. He was like- yeah. Well, that's just, that's, that's, just, that's just like I am. You know, I'm yeah. cool, collected and all like this and stuff. And, you know, I greet people with, in my channel with blessings and things like that until you come in and start doing this hilarious and nefarious stuff. Now I'm on your shit. And now you're sitting here looking like, well, goddamn, why is he in the hell is cussing me out and stuff? <laughs> well, because you came in disrespectful. Well, look, I'm grateful for that because I'm glad that the Hulk got a dad. We was always one.